Soroban note number four, preparing placation. We're going to follow our uh, favorite abacus book, uh, the Japanese abacus, its use in theory by Takashi Kojima. We're going to use a standard nomenclature for multiplication problems. For example, uh, in 8 times 2 equals 16, 8 we call the multiplicand, 2 is the multiplier, and 16 is the product. We're going to s set these up on the soroban. It's the easy, easiest uh, t to start with uh, three different soroban, uh, one for the multiplier, uh, uh, here's 8 times 2 equals 16, here's the multiplier 2, here is the multiplicand 8, and over here is the product 16. So we're going to rearrange this in a more convenient fashion for manipulation with the right hand by putting the multiplier 2 over here to the left and putting the multiplicand adjacent to the product because this is where most of our manipulation of beads will take place. So 8 times 2 equals 16. Now we're going to do this of course on a single soroban. So here's the setup for the single soroban. First of all the the, the the white bar here has little black dots indicating unit uh, rods. We're going to choose one uh, unit rod in the center of the soroban. And it's hard to see that dot, so I've marked it here with a post-it. And we set the multiplicand first. So here's the 8 set on the central unit rod. Uh, then we set the multiplier over here on the left. Here's the t 2, leaving two vacant rods in between the multiplier and the multiplicand. And then we're going to put uh, the product, 2 times 8 is 16, over here on the right, just uh, adjacent to the multiplicand. And then this is the, the basic setup for the multiplication, we first set the multiplicand, then set the multiplier, and then one digit uh, or rod at a time of the multiplicand is to be multiplied by the multiplier and then the product entered to the right of the multiplicand. And finally, the uh, rod of, that we have multiplied in the multiplicand will be cleared. So all this will be shown in action in our Soroban tutorial number 11. The end.